I'm going to discuss milestone billing. In other words, billing clients by milestone rather than just with a date range. Now, a lot of companies will bill time and materials just based on a date range from the beginning of the month to the end of the month or so on. But you might also do billing on a milestone basis, like one third up front, one third at beta or in the middle, and one third at the end. So that would be the topic of this video. I'm going to start by going to the tools menu and I'm going to choose projects. Milestones are done on a project by project basis. So one project may have uh, some milestones, another project may have completely different milestones, and for a third one would have none at all. Okay. So I'm going to click on a couple of different uh, projects here just so that we can bounce back and forth and take a look at those. Uh, I've clicked on this project and if you look down in the list of properties you see this billing milestones field. Okay, This one has four milestones. Click another project you can see that it has three milestones. So these are completely different projects, different clients, and we're just going to look at how the milestones are set up here so that you can get an idea how to uh, set those up on your own system. So going here to this first project, we see that there are four milestones. Click the dot, 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 and that opens up a dialog box to see those milestones. Now again, these are on a project by project basis. These milestones are for this project only. So we've got really um, three different types here, although you see four, but the first one that you see here is time and expenses by date. Okay, this happens to be December, so you see the uh, December 1st uh, through to the end, which would be the 31st, and so that would be that month. So all the time and materials collected for that month then would um, go into this milestone. Clicking on March, you see sort of the same thing there. These are basically the same time and expenses by date. If I click on this one, now we're looking at a percentage of project. So you see this field here has changed to percentage of project. If I click the drop down, you'll see the three different types. Percentage, fixed amount, and time and expenses by date. So you get to choose the kind that you want. In this case, it's it's a third of the project. So we got 33.333. So that ends up taking the amount from the project and cutting a third of that for the invoice. The last type is fixed amount. So you, again, you see this drop down, fixed amount is chosen. You type in a number here, and that's just going to bill that much. Okay. There's some other fields in here that you could fill in, like the description. Most of these are not used on the invoice, but some are. You've got the milestone date here that you could use. Some fields here related to the billing type. You also have some fields for customer acceptance when the customer accepts the milestone and countersigned by an employee. So when you talk about um, things like a third of the project, you're looking at a third of the amount that is shown in the uh, project. So if you go down to the budget section, you see this estimated cost, it would be a third of that. So that would be um, just one look at the milestones. Click on another project here and we can see this one has three milestones. In this case, we have a third at signing, a third at beta, and a third at completion. So they're all set up as just a third of the project. So let's get out of this, go over here to the insert menu, choose new invoice. So when I create an invoice, I do have to choose the uh, client and the project, and then you can optionally choose a milestone. And so if I clicked here and chose, let's say, a third of the project, that is going to show the subtotal based on that. If I chose a fixed amount, remember the 10,000 here. So the milestone that you choose is going to find the uh, time and materials for that date range, or it's going to cut the amount by a certain percentage, or it will just use a fixed amount. So when you're adding new invoices, that is how you're going to uh, use those milestones. So let's just go back through this real quick. Tools, Projects, click on a project, go to the billing section, you'll see the billing milestones. Then back through to Insert, New Invoice, and then you'll see the milestone field here. So that should help you set up milestones for project billing.